Once your documents are ready to be shared, you have the ability to determine what permission you want to give the recipient. To share these documents, you can click Share over to the right, or you can check off multiple documents and share them all at once. Dotloop will try to help streamline this process by assuming which permission, but you can always change if necessary. For example, if you give your buyers a place to sign, then Dotloop will give them Can Sign Permission, or in this case, Susie Seller. Less clicks and decisions for you to make. There are four permissions total. Regardless of which permission you choose from, the recipient will be able to view, download, or print, and that will be tracked in the document history. View only allows the recipient to just do those three things we just talked about, view, download, or print. Can sign gives the recipient access to any field on the document that you gave them permission to. So in this case with Susie, it is just signature and initial fields. Can fill and sign would give Susie access to all fields on the document, but she would still only be able to sign and initial what's assigned to her. This is perfect for seller's property disclosures. Now these two middle permissions, can sign and can fill and sign, are perfect for your clients because we are requesting an action and once they complete that action, the documents automatically come back to you. Can edit in private is the permission used when you want the recipient to make any necessary changes to a document without restriction, as well as share to their clients. Any changes made to a previously signed document by design will wipe out signatures, ensuring no one is agreeing to term edits made after signatures were placed. This permission is ideal when sharing with co-op agents using Dotloop. We're going to stick with can sign and go ahead and share this document. Now, out to the right, it says waiting on others. Now that these documents have been shared with Susie, if we click share again, Susie now appears under who has access instead of add people. Over here, reshare and more options allows us to check Susie off and reshare to her. That would send her another notification. And we can also remove Susie's access from this document. Maybe we're not ready for her to sign or we accidentally sent an incorrect document. We can remove her access from that.